Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to be looking at uh, half-life, half-life and decay constants. Okay, this decay constant is also called decay rate. Okay, and of course, uh, do not forget to like this video. Liking the video will make other students easily find this video. Abi, you know what made the pass me. All right, please click on that like button immediately. All right, subscribe to this channel. Subscribing to this channel will make what um, you receive notification whenever what release a new video like this. And also, do not forget to keep sharing so that others can enjoy these lectures also. All right, uh, this tutorial is brought to you by the Otis School Jamba. Let us see a question from the app. It's a 2023 question number 20. It says, it says, how is the decay constant lambda related to the half-life, T-half, of a radioactive substance? Okay. A, lambda is equal to T-half. B, uh, decay constant, which is lambda, is equal to 1 over T-half. C, a decay constant is equal to 2 over T-half. D, decay constant is equal to what? Uh, T-half squared. All right, so I'm going to come back to this question and many more questions on this application at the end of all this class. All right, not before. So do not forget to go to Play Store and download the application and start practicing your way to success. The app has all you need to succeed in your exams. Pass questions so be full there. All right, and of course, we have what the classroom feature that has lecture notes. All right, structured according to the jam syllabus, so you don't need to go and be carrying big to look up and down. Also, we also have what the question set feature. You have the UTME mock challenge every Saturday. You participate with thousands of other jam bites. You win amazing prizes every Saturday. All right. And also, you get used to jam pass and likely exam question. What is more is that what you see your results release every Saturday. And so, it builds your confidence towards the main exam. So, do not sleep on the app. Download from this store and activate. Do not be stingy. Some of you are too stingy. Please do not be stingy to yourself. Uh, if you do not have the money, ask your parents, ask your uncles, let them pay for you. Activate the app and start studying your way to success. So, let's look at what half life. So, what is half life? We say that what half life is the time taking. Half life is the what time taking for a given mass, amount, or quantity of that substance we are talking about to disintegrate to have its original. Okay. We say what half life, half life, is the time taken for a given mass amount quantity of that substance or of the substance or of the substance. Okay. Of the substance to disintegrate, to disintegrate to half its original. All right. So the uh, definition is very, very well explanatory. Okay. We say that half life is the time taken for giving mass, quantity or amount of the substance we are talking about now to disintegrate, to break down. Okay. Into what? Half what is original to break down to what to half its original what value. All right. We also say that our uh, half life is also what the time taking. All right. It's also the time taking for the count rates. It's also the count taking the time taking for the count rate or disintegration rates or disintegration rates. Okay. To what to get to what half half its what original to get to half its what original or what. To be halved. Okay, we say that our half life is the time taken for a given mass, amount, quantity of the substance to disintegrate to half its original, or is the what time taken for the count rate or disintegration rate to what to be halved or what get to half its what original. All right, now as we continue on this topic of what of half life, it is necessary to know that what half life is not what affected by factors like temperature and pressure. Okay, half life is not affected. It is not affected by factors like what temperature, okay, like temperature and what and pressure. Okay, in other words, what I mean is that what that half that radioactivity itself is not affected by what by physical what factors. Radioactivity is not affected by what by physical factors. Okay, so now let us go to the what to the let us skip to the good part now. All right, so let's consider now. Let us consider what a radio, a radioisotope R, a radioisotope R having a mass, 
mg at a time at a time t naught okay let's consider what a radioisotope of r having a mass mg at this what time t naught okay so now the t half t half at t half or rather at t half which is what the half life that is t 1 over 2 which is what the half life okay the mass that will be left okay at what this t half would be what 1 over 2 will be half of what of the original what mass Okay, we get it now. Let us go. Let me go over that again. We say consider that what we have what a radius of R having this mass at this time. Okay, now the T half, which is what the half life, that to say the time taking for a given mass, amount or quantity of the substance to disintegrate to half. So half is original what value, right? We say that now that the T half now, which is what the half life will be what the, the mass that will be left, okay, at what this T half will be half of what this original mass. Okay, so that means that T half would be 1 over 2 times what? Mg. I get it? You get it now, which is what now? Mg over what? Over 2. Let's say what well, that is what? The mass. Okay, that is what? Mg over 2. So now, at another time, T half. This is the first time. The first time at T half. Now, at another time, T half. Okay, the mass that will be left. The mass that will be left to be what now? At another time, what T half, the mass that will be left will also be what? 1 over 2 of this one also. Okay? So this one is at the first stage. This one at the second stage. At another time, T half, what will be left will 1 over 2 of what? Mg over what? Over 2, which is what? 1 over 4 Mg. Okay? It's as simple as ABC. Okay? So please do not, do not be confused. Okay? So we only talk about concern about what? The half life. When we say what the half life is time taking for a given mass. Amount quantity of the sultan to disintegrate to half its what value? You have half its original value. Okay, so this was the initial mass. Okay, at half at half life. Okay, at what t half, which is the half life. Okay, half of the original will have disintegrated. Okay, this is what this will be what will be left. This will be the mass that is left of fraction that will be left. All right, after what the half life. All right, so now half has disintegrated to mg over two. At another time, okay, at another what half life. All right, we are going to have one over two of the what of this previous what one. That will be what one over two times what mg over two, which is what one over four. So generally, it is true that the fraction of a certain radioactive material left after a particular time t naught is given as what as one over two. One over two is given as one over two into bracket t naught over what t half. Okay, where t naught. Where t naught over what t half is equal to what number of half lives? Okay, denoted by what by n by the letter n. Okay, denoted by the letter what by the letter n. All right. So the what the fraction of a certain radioactive what material that is left at a particular time t not in general is what one over two raised to power t not over what over t half. Okay, where of course. Uh, we have said that t naught over t half is number of half life, which is what uh, represented as what as n. This means that what we can rewrite this formula to be what one over what two raised to power what now raised to power n. Okay, so it's as simple as a b c. Therefore, if you have what a radio isotope, okay, for example, if you have a radio isotope with half life of what two days, okay, if you have a radio isotope with half life t half to be what two days, okay, the fraction that will be left. Okay, after what? Let's say let's 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 do for the fashion that will be left after two days, after four days, after six days, after eight days, and after ten days. Okay, so let's do for the fashion that will be left after what these days. Okay, this is what the uh uh the half life. Okay, it is if, if this is the half life of of a certain radioisotope, the fashion that will be left after these days. Now we can look for them using what this formula. Okay, so we can just simply say that what for the first case that is a it will be one over two. Into bracket what t naught? What is t naught? All right, t naught is two over what? Over t half is what? What is t half is two? Okay, the fraction left of what will be one. Okay, so this will be what the half life for what? For 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 what? For the first two days. Okay, actually you see at at this what the half life already what? Sorry, it's already what two days. Okay, so uh the fraction that will be left after two days will be what? See be what the full fraction. Okay, so now the second part now at what four days. Okay, what is what half life? Uh, t naught is what is four. The half life is what is two. Okay, so I'm going to have one over two 
All raised to the power 4 over 2 is what? It's 2. Answer will be what now? 1 over what? 1 over 4. All right? Simple as ABC. So the fraction left after 4 days will be what? 1 over 4. The fraction left after 6 days will be what? 1 over 2. All right? Into bracket. T naught is 6 over what now? Uh, half life is what? It's 2. Which is what now? 1 over what now? Uh, 2 raised to the power 3, which is equal to 1 over 8. Okay? Then, like, that, 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 you can do for what? For 8 days, 1 over 2. All raised to the power what? Uh, T naught is what? It's 8 over what now? Over half life, which is 2. Which is 1 over 2. All raised to the power what? 4. That will give us 1 over what now? 1 over uh, 2 times 2. 1 over 16. Okay? Then, of course, you can do also for what? For... For 10 days, that should give us 1 over 32 if you want to do it yourself. Okay, so that is what, how to calculate what the fraction left. Okay, the fraction left of a radioactive material after a particular what time. Okay, so this formula is very necessary. 1 over 2 uh, raised to the power what? T naught over what? T half. So you should commit what this uh, uh, this formula to what? The memory. Okay, this is what to calculate what? The fraction left after what? A particular time. Okay, now but Sometimes, instead of what, us looking for what fraction left, okay, we'll be told to look for what fraction lost or what disintegration, okay, all right. So, sometimes we'll be, we'll be what asked to what to look for what fraction lost, not fraction. This one is fraction left, too, all right. Fraction left, this is fraction left, that is what fraction left, fraction left, okay. Sometimes we'll be asked to what to look for what fraction lost and not fraction left, okay. Fraction lost. Okay, so in that case, it is good to note that what that both fraction left plus fraction lost is equal to one. Okay, let us see that. In that case, what you should just note is that what that fraction left and fraction lost is equal to one. That is fraction left plus fraction lost is equal to one. This means that what that fraction lost now. Because to one minus what fraction left, all right. So it's as simple as ABC, all right. So of course, so this will enable us to be able to find what to be able to find what fraction what lost. In this case now, it means that what now the fraction lost because to one minus fraction left is what one over two raised to the power what t not over what t half. Okay, it's as simple as A B C. All right, so the fraction uh, lost in these cases, okay, for this 1 over 8 to be what now? 1 minus 1 over 8. For this 1 over 16 will be 1 over 1 over 16. For this 1 over 32 will be 1 minus 1 over what 32. That is how we can use to what? To calculate what the fraction was lost. Okay, the fraction lost. Likewise, sometimes we'll be given what the initial mass, the amount, okay, the what, or what the, what the, the, the count, okay, sometimes we'll be giving what the initial mass, the what, the initial amount, or the what, the count, and we'll be told to look for for the final mass, okay, in that case also, there's a formula that we can, what we can use, okay, or sometimes we'll be giving what the final mass, but I'll be giving all the final what amount, or the final count, and then we'll be told to look for what, we'll be told to look for what, the initial what mass, in that case, what you simply do is what you say, uh, nf over what, over ni, is equal to 1 over 2, raised to power what, t naught over what, t half, okay, this formula is very, very, very necessary, very important for calculating such kind of what things, where nf is what, is final mass, where nf is final, final mass, amount, or count, and then ni, of course, is what? Initial mass, amount, or count. Okay, please, you need to what, take note of all this. Then, of course, we know what? We know T naught. We know T naught. T naught. T naught is what? Is given time. The given time. Why T half is what? Is half life okay so you know what what all these terms means okay so if i give you what the final mass i told to look for the initial mass just what employ this formula okay so you know that we can write this formula again to be what nf over what over n i is equal to what now one over two raised to power n i b we can write it like this then likewise it also means that what that we can invert if we invert this okay we can invert this to be what n i over n f so that what n i over what n f also because of what two raised to power what n okay simple as abc all right so 
let's take note of what of these what formulas and these derivations because they'll be very useful in what in solving what questions that pertain to what to half life and decay constant. All right, so before we go, let us quickly talk about what decay constant and how it relates to what to the half life. Okay, now decay constant, of course, is called is the rate of decay. The rate of what of decay that is what decay constant simply is. Okay, so the decay constant is what uh, is related to what to the half life. Okay, the decay so constant first of all is what is the rate of what of decay. The rate of decay and it is represented by what by this what Greek letter called lambda. Okay, this is called lambda. Okay, and this is equal to what now lean two over what t half. Okay, this is the relationship between what lambda and what and half life. This means that what that. They have what an inverse what an inverse relation. That means when the what the decay constant is what is increasing, the what the uh, half life will, will, be de will be decreasing. Okay, because this also means what you can split this. If you want to understand better, it's same time saying what lean two times what one over what t half. And what is lean two? No lean two to be what zero point six nine three. That is logarithm of two. So lambda will go to what zero point six nine three over what t. Half. Okay, so you can see the formula like this. Okay, so this is the relationship between what half life and the decay constant. So in the next episode, we are going to do what strictly calculations on what on half life, okay, and decay constant. So before we go, let us take a question from the take some question from the application to cement our memory. This is 2023 number 20. How is the decay constant lambda related to the half life t half? Of a radioactive substance. Okay, we already see that what they have what an inverse what proportionality. All right, that means that when the decay constant is increasing, the half life flow is reducing. If the half life is reducing, the decay constant what is increasing. So that is that's, that's an inverse proportionality. Okay, that means that related by what one over what lambda is equal to what one over what now t half. Okay, this is the relationship inverse. Inverse what proportionality. Okay, so our correct answer there will be what? Let's just check the options true. Okay, that is option B. Okay, option B is the correct answer there. All right, so they're they not asking for the formula. Okay, that's not but their relationship. All right, they say it's related. How is it related? So let us see another question. It say dash of a radio, radioactive element 2022 number 20. Dash of a radioactive element is the time taking for half of the total number of atoms. In a given sample of the element to decay. Okay, that is what definitely what half life. Okay, so A, they say the decay constant, B, the half life, C, the full life, D, the decay. Okay, correct answer there is what is the half life. All right, so uh, in the next episode, I'm going to do calculations. Please make sure you join us, download the app, start practicing, and what do not forget to, what to like, comment your questions, and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next episode.